Test, test. Fuck. All of that first half of this video was recorded off of just the camera audio because my stupid butt forgot to hit record in Audacity. So this is my new setup. This is probably just gonna be super temporary. Um, I got Frankenstein painting I did a while back. And then this right here, this is the newest addition. <laughs> newest addition to this set that y'all have never seen until today. But anyway, I uh, got this from my brother Nick because he went to go see Scream 6 at the Alamo Draft House, I believe. And they were giving out these posters. The Cinemark that my wife and I went to to go watch this movie. By the way, we did bring our newborn, so Draven's first movie was Scream 6. <laughs> I don't know if I should put that on the internet, but you know, here we are. Yeah, so we went to the Cinemark to go see this because they had these buckets and these cups, but coincidentally, they didn't have it at this specific Cinemark. Waco and Austin were the only closest ones that I could get these buckets at, but lo and behold, what, two weeks later? They started reselling them, so we bought some, and you, you know, they're not gonna ship till October or whatever, but <laughs> we got them, boys. Anyway, so I was pretty bummed I didn't get a poster, but my brother Nick came through with it and gifted it to me. And yeah, so thanks. His YouTube channel over here, so go watch him. He's in a, he's also doing commentary, so I find that pretty awesome. You know, watching his videos is actually what gave me inspiration to start doing these videos. So yeah, so thanks. Thanks, Nick, for uh, getting me back into the YouTube mood. Anyway. So yeah, this is my new setup. <laughs> That's where I was going with all that. Um, I got a desk. I'll show you a whole behind the scenes. So I put this desk here. I had this board for a while. And I was like, hey, why don't I buy a pole, uh, screw it to it, screw it to the wall, and then make kind of like this makeshift of collapsible desk kind of a thing. So if I need to get under here and you know vacuum or whatever like I did earlier I could just take the leg off and put it in the wall and it'd be flush with it boom smartest idea I've ever come up with and this behind me is just my bedside table and yeah I got a pegboard for all the gear I have you can't see it I don't think everything is it's, it's all black so it all blends I feel like I can talk better because I can hear my own voice <laughs> I don't know how um, conceited that sounds but so we're gonna do a quick commentary video as an introduction to my new niche on this channel, which is talking to a camera and giving my honest opinions on videos that are interesting, except for right now, because none of this looks interesting. What the f***? Did you really? We went to, um... I feel like this is just gonna turn into a podcast type first video. Here it is. What the hell? Can y'all see that? That little white speck. Driving off set. My wife broke her tooth, <laughs> or chipped her tooth, um, off of a burger from Grips. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, but you know. Oh my god. Yeah. <clears throat> you know that reminds me of this one time where I was eating soft tacos. And I legit broke a chunk off of my molar and uh, had to go to the dentist for that. And they asked me how I did it and I explained it that I was eating super soft tacos and they all laughed at me. <laughs> but you know, that's, that's to be expected <clears throat> for being a fatty. I used to be really fat. You, you were? Yeah. You were skinny when I met you though. I was a porker. <laughs> Damn, thanks. But no, low key, I have been getting a little bit of weight because you know, I'm a dad. I, I was going down that route, you know, so this was my plan to actually gain weight. Uh, this is all on purpose, and uh, you know, uh, it turns out I don't really like the dad bod. Um, I don't like the way it makes me feel. Uh, I'm making changes to my diet, <sighs> except for tonight, because we had griffs and I haven't had any junk food like that in a while, and today was kind of stressful. But also, I wanted to celebrate a little bit for this, for this new setup I have going on. I've been doing really good on uh, my diet and eating healthy. You know, drinking a lot less coffee, <clears throat> but I feel like this is all this video is just gonna be, just me blabbering on. Let's go to, all right, we're gonna go to TikTok. Let's see, TikTok? I don't wanna go to TikTok, I wanna go to Twitter. That's what I meant. All right. 
Weren't we in the middle of watch speaking on Rob Zombie movies? We were in the middle of uh, that one. <laughs> I don't even know the name of it. Well, you know, I could just look it up. The to Rob Zombie movies. Oops, I don't know how to spell. Lords of Salem. That's the one. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. We started Lords of Salem, but we never finished it. Another one we never, you know, I think it was actually <laughs> Lords of Salem is when I stopped watching all the Rob Zombie films because like El Super Bisto, really fucking good. Watched it with the boys, was <laughs> fucking hilarious, dude. Uh, if y'all haven't seen it, you need, definitely, definitely need to go watch that. It's really, <laughs> it's it's funny. Oh, yeah, that's how Draven was made, because we stopped watching Lords of Salem and got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, no, uh, the Lords of Salem, the Rob Zombie horror what? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> but 31, Three from Hell, and The Monsters. The Monsters, I don't know. That one, I feel like it's kind of like Adam Sandler and Rob Zombie decided to team up and make a movie. That's what, that's what it feels like to me. It's just so goofy. I haven't watched it, but from the trailers, it just seems like over the top goofiness. I get it's probably for kids, but it's, I don't know. He could have made it for teens and made it a little dark. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, I do not dislike Rob Zombie films despite the majority of most people not liking them. Do you ever just get on Twitter and you're just doom scrolling? I do a lot of doom scrolling uh, when I get on social media, so I try to limit how much screen time I, I have. Ooh, Evil Dead Rise. That'd be funny <laughs> if this channel just became me just talking about horror movies, because I feel like I speak very naturally about horror movies. Because I have a lot of thoughts and I have a lot of feelings towards things, and I just don't really express myself that way. But I don't know, it's kind of nice like doing it this way, because I, I feel like I'm just talking to myself. It, it makes me feel really good. Um, especially doing this legit way, I feel uh, I feel very comfortable right now doing it. Maybe it's because I finally got off my ass and did this set that I said I, I was gonna do. And you know, I prolonged it. I was supposed to do it in January and now we're in April, four months later. And you know, I'm gonna stop doing that because I really, I really, I need to, I just need to, I need to get the ball rolling on this shit. <laughs> if I could speak honestly to the internet. Anyway, so yeah, Evil Dead Rise is coming out April 21st, and I am very excited to watch it. It's part two from the remake, Evil Dead. I'm very excited to watch it because this one is really gory. It's actually super bloody. If you haven't watched the first one, you got definitely got to go watch it. Really excited for Evil Dead Rise. I had a whole conversation. I don't know. I'm just going to speak on it a little bit right now. I feel like I need to make a whole different... Different? <laughs> I need to learn how to speak first. I need to make a whole different video because it's going to be a different topic, but... It's my thoughts on Marvel movies and just where it's gonna go because I'm honestly getting tired of it. I've lost interest in it so much. Just superhero movies in general, I guess. Um, because there's some good ones, but there's also some very bad ones. In my opinion, I'm a Marvel fanboy, but I'm also a DC fanboy, so it's like I don't really, I'm not biased, but I feel, you know, just, I don't know, they're just getting repetitive at this point. And that's actually why I didn't go watch Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumanium. Even though I wanted to go watch it, but it wasn't like, oh man, I gotta be there. Because before, uh, through the other phases, I would be the first one in line on Thursday nights. Coming all the way from Uvalde to San Antonio just to go to Alamo Draft House and go be the first ones to watch this movie, right? See it before anybody else did at work. And yeah, but I don't know, that feeling has long past and I no longer feel that and it kind of sucks and uh, I don't know I feel like I need to go th deeper into that thought and just I don't know see why I don't uh, find them interesting anymore but I do find horror movies I've always found mo horror movies like super interesting obviously because they're just like out of the norm who watches who wants to watch a movie about somebody getting like decapitated you know or strung up upside down and sawed in half you know this was honestly, I just turned the camera on because I wanted to see how this was going to look because I got a new chair, arms lift up and everything. Look at that, I can lean back a little bit. Might not want to do that, this chair only costed me $130. So, you know, it might not be the greatest. This desk is so damn tall. What is this, 48, 48 feet? 48 feet, goddamn. 48 inches. 
I think the tallness of this was. So I needed like somewhere in between 32, 34 inch of height on a chair. So I looked up standing desk chairs and I found this one. Um, the cheapest, but the best quality because everything under a hundred bucks. All the, all, I go, I go based, when I shop on Amazon, I go based off of what the customer reviews are and the customer photos. And a lot of them, uh, under a hundred dollars for these kinds of chairs. A lot of the metals weren't that great. The quality of them weren't the best. So, you know, they would snap off parts and stuff. But this one seemed like it was in the middle range before it started getting more expensive. So I went with it. Anyway, why am I going on about a chair? Um, I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Oh, so I don't know if this video is going to go up. It probably is because I kind of like... I like the chaoticness of it. But anyway, no, this wasn't meant to be an actual video. I just wanted to put up my camera and just see how this looked. Uh, like I said, especially with this chair. And yeah, I decided to just hit record, get this all set up, and just see how good the quality of this mic was going to be. Um, I know when my wife and I were doing our podcast, uh, which is coming back. Don't know when. I'm not going to put a time and say like, oh, it's going to come back this time. Uh, it's going to come back when it comes back because I really miss talking about uh, horror stuff and haunted things and spooky nonsense. So, yeah. <laughs> are we bringing the podcast back? Yeah. Hell yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah. But like I said, no time limit on it. So it could come back whenever, but definitely go follow that Instagram account so that way you can keep up to date um, when it is going to come back. And yeah, keep up with us. We should really start using it more. <laughs> um I'll make a whole nother video on where we've been and all that stuff. But hopefully you enjoyed this rant on my thoughts on randomness. <laughs> because that's honestly what this video was. Um, I feel I'm gonna watch this back and be like, damn, you look like shit. Thanks, because you gained weight. And why'd you gain weight? Because you got lazy. And why do we get lazy? Um, because we're too stuck in our heads. But this is too not being stuck in your head and getting out of it and just start making shit that you've been wanting to make for months so awesome anyway i'll see you in the next video uh hope you liked and do all the things like share us uh, like share subscribe push the bell um because it'll help me out um and it'll help me <sighs> it'll help me make more of these videos give me more time to make videos so anyway see ya bye bye